Hello and welcome back to another ROV video. This time it's going to be featured the tether. Now I got a new tether here, completely obstruction free with no visible floaties attached to it. That's why I call it the snake. Having a tether with no visible floaties attached to it is quite beneficial because uh, you're not going to have nearly as much impeding objects in the water here. On the left side there are no floaties, on the right side you see the cable gets tangled up. So take 17 to 20 millimeter cable sheathing, which gives you more than enough room for your three pairs of thruster cables, also your slender video feed line, which is usually quite thin, high resistance lighting cables, and also a tension cord, which in itself already provides a little bit of positive buoyancy, however nowhere near enough for the entire system obviously. So the key to get this to, to float is a floaty line. These are long cut stripes of polystyrene surrounded by duct tape. And you just put as many into the cable sheathing as you want or as you need in order to keep it positively buoyant. That's all you gotta do. Now I, want, I didn't stop there, I wanted to make this tether also detachable. That's where the unsuccessful story starts. So I went on Amazon and got myself an IP68 aviation water plug. The benefit of having a water plug here is uh, that if you have a detachable tether, that's a great increase in mobility. You have the tether on one case and the ROV on another. However, this water plug, of course, only gives you water tightness for one singular cable, so you cannot have a bunch of cables sticking out. As you can see here, the seal only goes around one circular body, one cable, that is. Now, since I have a whole bunch of cables, I need to somehow find a way to figure out to make this into one cable. So I got myself a shrinking tube, filled it with epoxy, and uh, made sure that it was spread around nice and even, as you can see here. It was a little messy, but uh, you know, since it's all watertight, that, that, that work out. But when the curing starts to take in, you can bend it straight forward and also get the seal of the plug to lock all the way around uh, the singular cable, which I came up with here. Now, in a way that really did work, however, epoxy becomes extremely hard when it cures all the way, and any sort of tension that comes onto the cable afterwards, like when you use it in the water, that tension goes directly into your cables, and of course what does happen? They crack. And also, an IP68 water plug is only good for about a meter or two for a couple of minutes, and after that, as you can see here, I went down to 15 meters of water depth, water just starts to push in. And uh, in the inside, it's really not watertight, so I had a lot of problems with uh, corrosion in the cables, so that completely failed on me. So, next story, back to the basics. A fixed tether which is attached full-time to the ROV. I got myself an, uh, a car cable or audio cable with uh, seven lines of one square millimeters of all copper wiring, OFC copper wiring. Very low resistance. In order to get this to work, I broke out the cables and every single one of them got sealed up. Here on the inside of the breakout I used nail polish to seal up the tube in which they were in. Every single cable was soldered in very, very thoroughly and carefully. And uh, the outside of the breakout was also sealed off with butyl rubber tape, which some of you might be familiar with the uh, sea perch design, what you do with the uh, cat cable there. And then when I soldered the cables to the engines, I also sealed them off with nail polish, with clean nail polish. And then it, finally, I sealed everything again up with heat shrink tubes. Problem was, this cable with one square, uh, square, square millimeter cables is really, really heavy. So even with a bunch of auxiliary uh, floaties, I did not, I couldn't get it to float, so I had to use yet again the floaties on the outside along with the inner floaty line. And here you can see that actually did work again so I was happy because having a dredging cable on the floor of the lake or the ocean is really no fun. It doesn't work. And so we went out with a couple of friends with a couple of dogs and had a fun time. Here you can see the floaties do their job. and we had a fun time. So, enjoy. Oh yeah, what's 
stopp, stopp, stopp. Runter, genau, perfekt. Woo, yeah. Woo. Miss Holly, how do you feel after this dive? <laughs> oh, you a little out of breath, huh? That took quite a toll on you, didn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. But you're happy. No, you're not? Oh, okay.